Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and I'll be playing the World of Warcraft today. In fact, this is, uh, actually this is my second time playing. I booted it up yesterday and I made a orc named Mach as a sort of a playtest, test out the recording software and whatnot. But this is going to be my first real play. It started me off in character creation with this little goblin lady. I'm not sure about playing a little goblin league, but let's look see what options we got. Uh, starting with classes. Uh, that looks like a warrior. She looks fairly armored with a big axe. Must choose a different class, or a different race to be this class. Apparently we can't be a paladin, but we can be a hunter. With a blunderbuss. A rogue, that was what was pre-selected for her. She got blades on her blades? She does! Madam, do you know Exhibit? Ah, uh, Priest. <laughs> okay, so it's a green woman with a long stick and a white dress. A shaman. Like Shredder Claws. Or, or she's holding giant beetles, something like that. Mage. Oh. Okay. Warlock. I don't plan on playing Warlock. Death Knight. Ooh. Wow, she's all armored up. All right, let's go back to warrior and let's look at the uh, the uh, races here. Started with goblins, so it looks like we'll look at the horde side first. Got gotcha, an orc, undead. Can't zoom in. More information. Oh, can remove fear and orc tank damage. That's what I want to know. She have a nose ring. She does have a nose ring. Cool. Undead. A Taran. Okay. Troll. Blood Elf. Is that her hair or those ears? Her ears are the same color as her hair. Todd. Goblin. Then for the Alliance, we have humans. She looks unusually happy. Like, she shouldn't be that happy to be holding such a big axe. A dwarves? Doesn't look nearly as happy. Night elves? Gnome? Oh, that's nice. I like that. Goblins a little taller and skinnier. A Drenai? Okay. And a Worgen? I don't remember Worgens. I played Warcraft a long time ago. I played Warcraft 3. It's the last one I played. In fact, I remember Warcraft 3 coming out. I was in high school, I think, and I was in middle school, and it was announced, and I remember watching and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And my friends and I played Warcraft, and it was real neat when it came out, and I've been waiting for Warcraft 4 since. And I have never before this week have played Warcraft 3. A world of Warcraft. I've never seen such a creature in any of the worlds of Warcraft I'm not familiar with. Pandaren. I saw the commercial for these guys. Nice ponytail. But I'm a male, so I'm gonna play a male character. Oh. Okay, got bigger. But now I have an important decision. What race do I wanna play? I made an orc for the test. I wanna do something else. Human. Dwarf, I like dwarves. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Night Elf, Gnome. Oh wow, look at that mustache. You're on the list now for mustache. Let me look at the others. Um, sort of like a Cthulhu with mutton chops going on there? Werewolf Man, or Gundid, Taran. Kind of like the Tarans from the game, but. Oh, now that's the troll I know and love. Who'd you want me to kill? <laughs> Blood Elf. Goblin. That goblin looks vaguely familiar, but I can't really place him. Alright, mustache on me over. I'm playing a, a gnome. Do I want to be a gnome warrior? A gnome rogue? A gnome priest? Mage? Monk. Oh, he wouldn't let me choose monk before. A gnomish death knight. <laughs> Is that Frostmourne? 
I forgot what Frostmourne looks like. I think that's it. That's Frostmourne. Sounds right. Um, let's see. Warrior. I'm digging a gnomish warrior. Let's do this. Oh. Uh, skin color. Choosing the skin color of the gnome. Don't you draw pictures for Linux? Uh, pasty white gnome, pasty white gnome, pasty white gnome, pasty white gnome, or olive skin gnome. We're gonna go with pasty white gnome for the face. Scroll to the top. Young gnome. That gnome seen some, uh, seen some stuff. Angry old gnome. It's the same gnome. No, his nose is different. Old. Um, let's see. We're gonna choose this one. It's like the gnome I am young and not experienced in the world of Warcraft. Well, not the MMO. Hairstyle. Bald? No, no. Sort of like a receded hairline mullet. Whoa. Whoa, divided by two. Whoa, divided by two and flip to the side. Oh, wow. That's, uh... Say mad scientist. And bald. The last option, bald. No, that was the bald mullet. I don't know if I have a choice. I think I have to go with that hairstyle. It's been decided. Hair color. Black, brown, gray, different shade of gray, different shade of gray. It might be the same brown. Blue, green, pink. Hmm. We're gonna go with this kind of brownish reddish color. Facial hair. Okay. Now that just looks horrible. Lon Chaney. Um. Oh, I like the friendly mutton chops. The dolly stash. Wanna be dwarf? The uh, I believe that's called an imperial or a Napoleon with the uh, bit on the chin there. I don't even know what that is. That is not actually a mustache. That is just his nose hair that he's combed down. I see. Kind of like the friendly mutton chops or Lon Chaney. This looks like a razor attacked him and run it run right here and down. You know what? I chose the gnome because of his awesome handlebars, Napoleon, so I'm gonna stick with that name. <sighs> you need a name. Randomize that name. Rocky? Uh, Kettle Mill Beer? No. Uh, nope. Widenst? Nope. Kelbert. I am the brief. Can I get Kelbert? I am a gnome. Ha. Ah. Let's see. Socklimon. Porsche. Twin Stockholm. Syndrome. Uh, no. Gaskevil. Gaskevil? I like Gaskevil. Gaskevil the gnome. With a horrible haircut. I imagine you're gonna be wearing a helmet, so that won't matter. Finish. Yes, he chose his nationality. He's Finnish. Enter the world. The world of Warcraft. Warlords of Draenor. That's commercialized size. So you know, I'm gonna give this a try. Why not record it? The enjoyment and entertainment of others. Given the recent political upheaval in Ironforge, the gnomes have suddenly found themselves unwelcomed guests within the city. What? Racist. Leveraging their ingenious technologies and unquenchable spirit for adventure, the gnomes have begun to reevaluate their role within Cosmodon. Under the inventive Take it over. of high tinker Gelbin Mechatork, 
Who? The gnomes now plan a daring campaign against the barbarous Trogs to retake their former capital of Nomregon. The who? With the odds stacked against them, the gnomes are calling oh. on brave heroes such as you to stand such as me? and be counted. Your people's greatest hour draws near. Oh. Okay. Right click on the exclamation point to get your first quest. Oh no, I wanna turn around. Uh, let's see, I found this out with the orc. What'd I do? Is that one? That one. Let's me see me. Oh good grief, I'm already bloody and I haven't started anything. And I'm in socks. Oh, they're recruiter's boots and pants. Okay. Fifteen things in my backpack? No, no, that must be slots that are about fifty open slots. Okay. I can search for it. Huh. Cool, man. Alright. And now, my name is Melvin Twistrange, and I'm from the Commander of the Survivor Assistance Facilitation Expedition, or SAFE. I don't know how you managed to survive the radiation down here, gave skill, but most of the others haven't fared so well. My team is rounding up the survivors, but the radiation addled leper gnomes are too numerous for us to hold back much longer. They've lost their minds. If you're still strong enough to wield a weapon or cast a spell, would you help us clear some of these leper gnomes? What, you're gonna just go out and kill lepers? Yeah, to kill six crazed leper gnomes. Oh, cool! So then, orcs started out killing scorpions. Gnomes start cut, start out killing their own kind. I like gnomes already. Left click to accept the quest. I will just receive 15 brown rocks and 100 experience. You have a great day now. Oh, I'm gonna have a great day murdering my own kind just because they're sick. Are they using laser guns? They are. Come on, shoot mm, something. Interesting. Shoot something. Oh, well. um, is that a leper gnome? Arr, that's my number two. Heroic strike. Oh, it's dead. You're not dead. I want a hat. Come on. That's two. Come on. That's three. See, this is that number that's gonna be after three. No, look him, you idiot. Gaps. Gaps kill? Is that what I named this guy? Cool, that's four. I guess the easiest one's right here. Oh, click on sparkling corpses to loot them. Oh, 13 copper. Oh, I'm trying to loot your friend's corpses. Leave me alone. Two copper. Hmm. Oh, first person mode. Haha. -ha. I'm playing World of Warcraft like a FPS. Die. Um. Actually, was I looking? Is that a board with a nail through it? He is an awesome space helmet. And he's attacking us with a board through, with a nail through it. <laughs> okay, I guess they are crazed lepers. Greetings. Well done, Gascavel. I'm assuming, I think that's the voice I use for this guy. Ah, well. My men can take it from here. Let's focus on getting the other survivors out now. You'll receive 15. I'm guessing that's copper now. Experience? I uh, know, 15 copper and 100 experience. Daylight's burning. I'm going to start preparing my men to leave this place. We can't hold out here any longer. I want you to move to a forward position in the middle of the large room ahead. You should find Carvo Blast Bolt there. He'll give you further instructions. Good luck, Gaskeville, and I'll see you on the surface. Report to Carvo Blast Bolt and, uh, number gain. You'll receive two copper and ten experience. Whoa, whoa. For killing my own people, you only gave me was it 15 copper? Talking to the guy you're gonna kill. Oh, I guess I'll accept it. 
The other one should give for, give me more options for chaos and murder. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to call that a first episode. And I will talk to you guys later. Have fun.